Hi everyone, welcome to Border Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie and here's another replay from me, old mate Matchy HK and he's platooned up with Sonic Snail and they're both driving T9 medium tanks and this tank is a tank I was pretty excited to pick up when I finally got the third lot of missions done. It's the T55A. It looks like a Russian tank but it's actually German, East, East German. I think it was given to the East Germans by the Russians. Or it was used in East Germany when, when East Germany was around. And Matchy's on the highway map. And he's going up to where the mediums normally go, up the 1-2 line. In his trusty old T-55A. Sonic Snail is in the T-54. Very similar tank. You can obviously, you can see looking at them. They look similar. Obviously both Russian designs looking at the way they're... Um, the way they look, I suppose. But not getting a great deal of support on the 1-2 line. So Matchy is holding back a little bit. It's not that quick, the T-55A. That's the, the... If you can pick a downside on it, I've noticed that the speed is... is probably something you would... you would pick on if you were to be critical about what the tank's like. Now, unfortunately, Sonic Snail Cops are big smack in the mouth by that big tier 9 artillery, the M5355 and Matchy's coming up to help him. You can just see how it is a little bit a little bit sluggish. And now Matchy's doing some awesome spotting for his team. He's obviously got a good crew in this tank. Obviously being a premium tank, even though it's tier 9, you can you can use other skills, other other crew members to multiply your crew training. Even though it doesn't, it doesn't get premium credits, though. Only tier 8 and below get premium credits. The T29 on Matchy's side getting pretty vocal about how awesome he is. Let's see how he goes at the battle results screen at the end. But now Matchy's just doing a little bit of a bit of a poke over and up in the A1 corner, which is where the mediums normally go. This the support is starting to get there. Like you look at the mini map, that his allies are starting to converge around this D2 area but looking at them it looks like they're not going to move Look, looking back there it looks like they're all just sitting back sniping which probably isn't the worst thing to do because they are lower tier tanks and at the moment matches he's picked up 900 hit points of damage keeping these tanks lit it's only a T20 there at the moment but the SU-152, beautiful shot into the side of the SU-152, does does sound funny, the gun on the T-55A, but, but when the shots land like that, it's, um, it does plenty of damage. You can see he's picked up 1,560 hit points of damage so far. Team are winning by two tanks. Those guys in the middle are still... Still sort of sitting back, but they're probably worried about the T49, which is which was last spotted at D5. And even though Match is getting lit by this T20, it doesn't seem to be the focus of the artillery anymore. So he's content just to sit back and put a few shots in. You can see the T20 is not aiming at him. T20 is sort of sitting there. I don't think the T20 really knows what to do. So Sonic Snail's moving in to shoot him, and as he does that. Matchy will get a nice cheeky shot into his side. The T20 really not doing a great deal of damage to anyone, so Matchy takes him out of the game, picks up his first kill, which puts his team back in the lead again. Now someone's shooting him, so he throws a blind shot into the bushes. Crazy Cat Princess in his Oho doesn't look too happy about getting killed in the in his tier 8 heavy tank. Yeah, he sees the low profile of the A44. Puts a clutch shot in, but it doesn't quite land. And now it's that lightly armoured Saint Emil. Will be money for jam if he can keep shooting it. T28 kills him. And they're still up by two tanks. 
Matchy picks up his second kill by getting rid of the A44, but at the same time, the Oni on the other side of the map gets taken out of the game. And the T29 as well. So the, the, the heavy flake in the city looks like it's starting to get in trouble. And so Sonic Snail and Matchy HK are both pushing on the flank that they're winning. It's one shot into the T29. The T29 being in the water is really going to slow his his speed advantage down and really remove that advantage that the T49's got. But Matthew picks up his third kill. And now he's using the ridge lines to get some shot into the baby Bat Chat. The Bat Chat 25 AP. Another very nice shot, which looks like it tracked him as well. Hoping to get the kill shot in. Doesn't quite kill him. And that VK3002 picks up a very handy kill. Now they're winning 8 5. And Matchy's already picked up nearly 4,500 hit points of damage, but I reckon he's going to do some more. This point of the game, Matchy's just going to get rid of this little bloke here. That, that T34 100, the tier 7 check tank, he would have no chance against a big tier 9. And you can see that Matchy's nearly out of standard ammunition here. He's only got one normal shell of ammunition left. Gets a shot onto the Super Pershing, but it doesn't, doesn't do any damage. Looking for the weak spot on the top of the turret, and he lands it. Now the VK is moving in on the Super Pershing as well, so they can do some flanking manoeuvres here. Looks like the Super Pershing is more interested in the Tier 6 medium than the Tier 9. And now he's just a one shot for our mate Matchy. The first shot tracks him, and he's lucky enough, you can see that uh, the armour of the T-55A really doing its job bouncing some shots. It's got a pretty, pretty bouncy turret, the T-55A, but in all that mayhem, In all that mayhem, the lead, the lead got taken away from Matchy's side. So he's moving around looking for these heavy tanks. Lucky not to land that shot on artillery. And but he's got him now, I think. Has he? No. Looks like the tracks. Looks like the tracks ate that shot on the artillery. And you'd want to move because you'd be thinking that you'd be thinking that that Artie would be would be lining you up by now. Takes the Artie out of the game, picking up his fifth kill. But the Artie did get the shot away. Lucky enough for Matchy, it didn't hit him. And now they're all coming back to try and stop that cap timer going off. They got 15 seconds before the cap timer stops. The VK3002, who obviously is dead, thinks it's funny that the. T55 is using heat, but he's, he's out of normal ammunition. Can he pick up the top gun before the timer goes? He does. Comfortable win in the end. 14 to 10, and a great carry by our mate Matchy HK. As we look at the post-game panel results, you can see he's picked up an ace tanker mastery badge for that performance. Bruiser, fire for effect, high caliber for doing the most doing a, the most damage out of everyone and at least 20% of the hit points of the enemy tanks. Top gun and look at all those tanks that he spotted, damaged and killed. He was lucky to pick up the top gun. The, the cap timer had gone off and um, the cap timer had gone off but as we know it still goes for a few seconds and that allowed Matchy HK to pick up his 6 kill. 6,760 damage, 1,743 base experience. That's a massive game. He fired 36 shots. A few of them were blind shots and a few of them went a little bit wide. 28 hit, 23 did damage and that's what gave him his 6,760 damage. Also 3,000 spotting damage which would have contributed greatly towards his ace tanker and that base experience score of 1,743. A few of the vocal players who are in the team. Let's have a look. The VK2801. Awesome game. Fired one shot and uh, spotted 160. Yeah, that's 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 worthy. That's pretty worthy. The Oho. 
who was getting pretty angry in the chat, and the T29, who was telling everyone how awesome he was. Two shots landed. Awesome games by those three players. Detailed report, he only made 10,000 credits. Now, of course, the Tier 9 premium tanks don't give a premium tank bonus in their credits earning, but also because he ran out of normal ammunition, he was firing all that um, premium ammunition towards towards the end. But all in all, an awesome game by our mate Matchy HK in the personal rewards tank, the T55A, the German T9 medium tank. Thanks for the replay, Matchy. That was an absolutely awesome game. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care and see you all next time.